That's uh, I'm too self-conscious about that shit. I don't know. Uh, move, the move has been wild. That's kind of been interesting. Uh, I did a gig in uh, Huntsville, Alabama, which is just south of where I live a little ways. And a, a black comedian, I was outside, and a black comedian was like, I gotta ask, are there black people in Nebraska? <laughs> I said, you know, I'm from Omaha, I kind of laughed or whatever. And he ended up saying, you know what, I'm just fucking with you, I'm from Milwaukee. But, uh, <laughs> it's pretty, you know. but uh, I mean, there's, there's a thing that I wanted to talk about, that's kind of a, a culture. I love Omaha, it's going to be home for, to me, but like, it's a weird thing when you move somewhere else. And do you ever have like a realization that something you already knew, but you really, you know, like you realize it on a deeper level? I'm realizing since li living in the South, I'm like, holy shit, Nebraska is white. <laughs> it's, it, you know, like it, you go into small towns down there and you see a black person, you're like, are you, are you, are you? you know, in Nebraska too, like, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, so it's, it's weird, you know. I, uh, I get told every once in a while this comes up. Uh, that I, I have a celebrity look-alike. I don't know if you all see it, but I see it. I don't, I don't see it. But I mean, several times over the last decade, people have told me that I kind of look like uh, Robert Downey Jr. This guy says, yeah. So. I've been told that. I don't know what they're seeing. I don't think they're seeing, like, uh, Tony Stark, Iron Man, you know. I think they're seeing Robert Downey Jr. six months out of rehab. Like he'd gotten past the yayo, but couldn't pass up some nachos. Anyone here have kids? Yeah, I figured there's a lot of old motherfuckers in I, uh, I, I've never had any kids. Thank you. As, as far as I know. I've never, I've never had any, uh, I don't know, I have, okay, so, I, and so as a comic, being uh, my age, I'm finding that I'm gravitating, though, to something called dad jokes, y'all know about, y'all know about dad jokes, right? Yeah, right? I'm gonna give you one, okay? A couple summers ago, I was dating this single mom, briefly, or whatever, and she's like, hey, I'm gonna run to the grocery store. Uh, can you watch the kiddo? It's like, yeah, I know. I'll catch up on Stranger Things. So, yeah, so uh, so I, I was watching TV and I turned to the kid. I go, hey, guess what? I'm your dad. Just kidding. Dad jokes, right? It's like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with stuff. I've been dabbling in, not... I've been getting back into something I had kind of gotten into years ago. Uh, I, I found this place in Nashville called uh, Wild Heart Meditation. I'm getting into like Buddhist meditation, kind of calm this shit down. Because it goes 100 miles an hour all the time. And it's helping. It's really helping. And part of me is like, you know, Buddhism. I'm like, I can, I'm pretty good at sitting and doing nothing. You know? But I, I decided, I've been getting into it, I decided going forward, if people ask me what religion I am, I'm gonna be like, I'm Buddhist. <laughs> Don't you mean Buddhist? No, Buddhist. I'm kind of trying. <laughs> no, but when I geek out on something, I really geek out on it. So like, I, I got I got a little too stoned one night, and I was watch, watching a documentary on Siddhartha, the, the Buddha, or whatever. And it got to this part, he's talking about the, they're talking about the, uh, the imbalance with our desires and all this shit. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> attachments and shit, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, so I'm sitting there, and I, I say I'm not religious, but like for many years now, I usually jack off before I go to bed. And so, like, I'm... And I'm, I'm queuing up the porn after watching this documentary, and I'm like, God damn it, Siddhartha, you fucked up my jack session. So, uh, <laughs> oh man, this is, a, this is wild. I, uh, this 
So, are you guys excited for the, the ska show tonight? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I am a fan of ska. I love that. I, I, I'm a fan of a lot of different music. So I got this friend Tracy, and she's convinced that I have this tell. Okay, with, along with that, anyone mess with uh, cannabis at all? <laughs> That I have this tell that when I reach a certain point, using edibles, especially in the night of the mountain public, that she can hear the ska soundtrack in my head. And then it hit me one night, I was outside having a cigarette on Christmas Eve, and I, rolling through my head was uh, Someday I Suppose. <laughs> Just by Mighty Mighty Boston. 